Paul from CrossFit Knowledge here. Yes, it is as cold um, as it looks in the gym. Got my woolly gloves on, got my hat. I did have a scarf, I've got two hoodies. It gets a little bit cold in here. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an insight to our programming for the upcoming week. After, the week after our in-house competition, Bells and Bells competition. Um, if you competed uh, on Sunday, then I suggest you probably have a couple of days off to recover rather than jumping straight back in. But if you didn't compete, on Monday we have got um, our competition day. These days are our opportunity for people to work really hard and go at it, often in like a competition type setting. So on this Monday we're going to be doing, in a slightly different format to usual, I'm not going to give you those details, but we're going to be finding our 10 rep max push press, we're going to be doing as many street pull-ups as we can, and then we've got a, a, a triplet with wall balls, burpees, and then kettlebell swings. So if you did do the competition the day before, then I'm sorry we've got more swings and burpees. This is going to be done as a pair, so that's going to be a partner workout. Um, on Tuesday, this is our strength day. On the strength days, it gives us opportunity to work on um, total body strength, whether it be using a barbell or whether it be using body weight. Um, today, we're going to do, well, Tuesday, we are going to use a barbell and we're going to use body weight. So we're going to start off with um, sets of five on an overhead squat. Then we're going to be doing the, the uh, basis of a lot of the gymnast just gymnastic movements, which is the hollow body. And then we've got a good exercise which really helps strengthen up around the, stabi strengthen the stability in the shoulders and the total body. And that's going to be a get-up. We haven't seen these or done these for quite a while, so they're back in, back in action this week. So, and then after that, we've got a nice um, partner workout. It's going to involve heavy, unbroken, full cleans and then lateral bar jumps. That's all the information I'm going to give you on that. Wednesday is our Olympic weightlifting day. So we're going to, on these days, we either focus on the clean and jerk, the full movements, or the snatch. So today, it's going to be the clean and jerk. We're going to go three position clean, followed by one jerk. Um, this gives us opportunity to work on technique and making sure, um, yeah, working on the technique. With the conditioning on the Wednesday, we have, um, we're revisiting a, a, a workout we did a few weeks ago, but flipping it in reverse. Today it's going to be 10 handstand push-ups, 20 box jumps and 30 swings. Last time we did it, we started with the swings, finished with the handstands. Just wanted to see how your body, how you guys cope with it doing differently. I think this one might be slightly easier doing the handstands at the start. This type of workout, we have an enforced rest period. So all that does, it enables you to work that a little bit harder knowing you've got that recovery. Um, and it just helps you pace the workout a little bit. Thursday, that's our skill day. So periodically throughout the week, uh, we have a, a day where we're just kind of working more on, on skills of movements. So we're not going hard all the time. This day, we're going to be working on some pull-ups. Uh, whether it's strict pull-up or kipping pull-up progressions. Uh, we're going to make sure that people are going to be working at the right level for them and then after the pull up progressions we're going to be doing some running so weather permitting if it's not raining or snowing we've got some 800 meter runs plus a few other things to build that kind of aerobic um, capacity Friday it's competition day again that says 12.3 I'll let you go and work that out really good opportunity to work hard on this one. I've done this a few times and it's, yeah, it's tough. It's good though. Saturday, again, another strength day. So we're going to be working on lower body pulling strength. So really strengthening those hamstrings, backside, back with deadlifts. We're progression, progressing on from last week. Last week we were doing sets of five on the deadlift. This week the weight is going to go heavier and we're going to do sets of three. Again, like last week, we're going to pair that with the handstand push-up progressions. We've been working on strict handstand push-up progressions for the last few weeks. Same again, we're just going to carry on with that. At CrossFit Norwich, we don't just randomly do things. We, over the time, over the, over the weeks, we um, repeat the same movements so we can have progression and improvements in those. And then with the condition on Saturday, we've got to repeat again. It's going to be heavy thrusters a few weeks ago. 
It was body weight thrusters for the guys, three quarters of body weight for the ladies, with some uh, swings involved. So the heavy thrusters and swings, that is quite taxing and you might want the day off afterwards. Then Sunday, again, Olympic lifting day. We're gonna be working on the three positions in the snatch. And then we've got a nice uh, triplet again with chest bar pull-ups, man makers and uh, wall balls. Good one, we've got some pulling strength in there and we've got a total body movement um, with some pressing, some pulling, some squats and then wall balls are just really good for getting you out of breath. So that's a bit of a summary of the week uh, at CrossFit Norwich Ahead.